Cobalt King calling headquarters. 1200, 4, 76, 12. Beginning descent, do you copy? Cobalt King calling headquarters. 1200, 4, 76, 12. Beginning descent, do you copy? Copy that, 1200. 4, 76, 12, Cobalt King. Navigation says we're on target above the city. Counter-gravity anticipated in three, two, one, and it's a go. Twenty-two, hit him hard. Cobalt King to the pack. Two Marinsteins at 55. I'd rather not have to face them one-on-one. -on -one. Copy that, Cobalt King. 20 and 22. There are two Marinsteins at 55. No, 54. of this floating fortress around a little. Bellwether, 22 reporting. 21 and 9 have got my back. With this speed, we'll smash against the trench wall. I'll have to make the contact. Ah! Oh, Damn it! Bellwether, 20 is down. Affirmative, 22. Time capsule active. Let's go. How it's done, fellas. and accounted for. Back. Close up and report. Cobalt King. Airspace in your zone is spick and span. Much obliged, Bellwether. Cobalt King to headquarters. 600. 4. 112. 12. In position. Half near to launch. Stop about 600. 4. 112. 12. Cobalt King. The fourth unity. Three bombs killed 664,000 Inkies that day. To the elated cries of nearly two billion citizens of the Empire. But this is also where I lost my son. He was the pilot of the Cobalt King, the bomber that carried the fourth bomb, the one that never dropped. He did the unthinkable, 
unprecedented in the history of military aviation. He ignored his orders. According to the news, the co-pilot buried a bullet in my son's brain that very instant. An Imperial father would have been shattered to hear of this treason and struck dumb with shame. Me, I'm just a collaborationist father, a secondary citizen who resembles an Imperial father only in grief. I have not torn my clothes from my body in mourning. I have not apologized for the actions of my progeny. I have sworn revenge.